All right, in this video, I wanna walk through showing how Zapier can be used to automatically add somebody to a Hello Audio feed, but then also how to automatically remove somebody from a Hello Audio feed. So what you're gonna start with is whatever you're using in your business as your uh, email collection system. So I'm using ConvertKit. I have a sign up form page ready to go. Very simple, somebody drops an email address. I'm gonna then add them to the Hello Audio feed once they put their email address here and subscribe. And then later on, say it's a membership and then there's a cancel option, whatever that process is, I'm using this other simple page, just drop an email address and this is somebody who wants to cancel their subscription. So um, for you, whatever your business is using to collect email addresses or payments or both, you would then use that in Zapier for that first part of the automation. When somebody fills out the form or gets tagged or pays something, then do the hello audio stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and start in Zapier, create a zap. And this step one, the trigger is up to your business, what tools you're using, not Hello Audio, it's something separate. So start with, in my example, ConvertKit. What I want them to do is when they get tagged. So when they fill out the form, they're going to get tagged something. They're going to get tagged subscriber and I'll select that tag in a second. Again, this is our, this should be set up ahead of time. This is your business just as you want to run it. And then the step two action part of Zapier is where Hello Audio comes in. So I'm choosing my ConvertKit account, which was connected to Zapier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose the tag subscriber. So when somebody gets tagged subscriber in ConvertKit, then I'm gonna use Hello Audio to get them into the feed. Test this ConvertKit trigger, finding somebody who has that tag. Great, I have somebody. Step two. The action, so this is where Hello Audio comes in. So choose Hello Audio as the app. And the event we're gonna use is add a listener. Click continue. Sign into your Hello Audio account if you're not already connected to Zapier. Um, it'll ask you to log in, but I'm already logged in in another tab. So I'm good to go. And then choose the feed that you wanna add them to. I'm gonna pick my private podcast on Hello Audio. Next field is the email field. Grab that from step one, the trigger. So in ConvertKit, it found the contact information, the subscriber email. I'm gonna click on that. Don't type anything in this box, just click and then click again on the email address field. So that'll change dynamically based on who goes through the signup form. That'll change what email address is put here and then pass to Hello Audio. Again, no typing, just click and select. Do you want to send the email? Yes, I do. This is going to invite them to start listening. You could add custom text if you want or leave it blank to use the default text, which is what I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. So what this is going to do is test by adding this email address to the feed inside Hello Audio. Let me test that action. And cool, listener was sent. And if I go over here, if I refresh my list of listeners, I should see somebody from just now being added who wasn't there before. That was that test contact from ConvertKit, just now invited. And if I go over to my Gmail inbox, I do have the email inviting me to start listening. And I have a whole bunch of tests because I've been doing this, um, making sure this is all working before. And this is like the fifth run through because Zapier kept messing up. But I have been invited and here's my invitation to start listening. So I'm going to go ahead and archive this email. I'm going to go back to Zapier. Final step, publish. Turn on this Zap. So now it is running. Now when somebody goes through the form, Zapier will take over and automatically pass them to the Hello Audio feed, private podcast and Hello Audio. It will use their email address from that form. So let's go, go ahead and test that. Let me test it with... Um, a new email address. If you're not aware how Gmail lets you use um, different email aliases, you can put a plus sign at the end of your Gmail address. Like mine is Derek Pedia plus, and I can say like testing one, two, three, Zapier convert kit, something like that at gmail.com. Um, and then let me go ahead and hit subscribe. So you can add anything with a plus sign to the end of your Gmail and it'll be like a new contact is being used for places like Zapier convert kit, hello audio. Um, you can see I got an email. It's probably the invitation. If I hit refresh here, I should see a new email address has been added to the feed. 
And sure enough, testing one, two, three, Zapier CK at gmail.com has been invited and I got the, in, the email sent to me here. So testing, all that stuff. Boom, ready to start listening. So I'm gonna start listening. I'm gonna subscribe in Google Podcasts so you can see what's happening. And after I hit subscribe in Google, the reason I want to do that is I want to show you that if I block myself now from um, canceling the membership, I will not be able to play these uh, episodes. So uh, I've been invited and I'm in the feed and I have, should say subscribed now that I've refreshed the page and I've put it in a podcast app. Hello Audio shows that yes, in fact, I have subscribed. So now what I want to do is build another automation and have it be the cancel automation. So this one I can rename to say new subscriber to hello audio boom and then this zap automation is on it's running i'm going to create a new one and this time i'm going to use the cancel form rather than the sign up form so if i do the same process but i'm use a different tag this form is set up in convert kit to tag them with the canceled tag. So in a new tag subscriber in convert kit, pick my account and then pick the tag canceled subscription. I'm going to test it and find an email address that has that, which should be the same test one from before. Good. So this is now going to be slightly different in step two. The action is still using hello audio, but what we're going to do is change the event. So the first time we did it, we're adding people. Now we're going to edit a listener. We're going to pick our account that we connected last time. And then we're going to pick the feed. It's going to be the private podcast on hello audio, the email address. Again, choose the field by clicking on it. No typing. This is where we set up the listener. So we're going to change their status from active, meaning they're able to listen to inactive. Now I could delete them, which would completely remove them from inside Hello Audio. You wouldn't see them at all. You're welcome to do that, but I'd rather just choose it as inactive just to block them. So I could have a record of them being a listener in the past. I'm going to not touch their start date. I'm just going to ignore that, hit continue, and then I'm going to test the action. So what it should do is block this email address, this listener inside Hello Audio. So let me go ahead and make sure that that happens. So this was the test email address. Right now I'm invited, I'm able to listen. If I flip the switch to turn off access, so I should refresh the page. Zapier should have done that for me. So that person now is blocked. So the Zapier test worked. People who go through that Zap get blocked. Let me go ahead and go back to Zapier and publish, turn on this Zap so it's running and then I'm going to test it with my um, form that I built, which should block these people. So let me grab that test email address, testing123, Zapier CK. So let me fill out the form as though I'm a member who's now ready to cancel and it should block my access. So go ahead and click leave. And then what should happen is I should come back here it's subscribed. If I hit refresh, it should be changed now to blocked. Yep. So me as this listener who filled out the form has been blocked because Zapier told Hello Audio to turn off their access. And if I try and play this content, something went wrong. I can't listen because I'm a blocked listener, so I can't listen. Cool. So that's how to use Zapier to one, add people, and then two, block people automatically. Um, again, the first thing, the trigger is the one that's dependent on your business, whatever email system you're using, whatever cart system, um, opt-in form page, stuff like that, whatever it is, that's your trigger. I use ConvertKit as an example. And then step two is where Hello Audio comes in. It's the adding a listener or the editing a listener to block them. So this is cancel subscription um, in Hello Audio, just to give it a name. And then I'm going to go back to my list of zaps and I've got my two automations ready to go. No warnings. Everything's working great. That is how you build a zap automation to add somebody and then also to cancel somebody um, inside Hello Audio. Hope that was helpful.